you're a plus size girl, or a thicker girl, or a girl with a big belly, or a wee belly, or a wee pooch, the wee overhang, and you are wearing a milk maiden dress. Pack your bags, we are getting married. Like seriously, what is your ring size? Because I am obsessed. The girls all love the grey sweatpants. Well, for me, specifically, the milk maiden dress, which I just found out about, is the equivalent of grey sweatpants for a girl. This guy might actually be the cringiest man on all of TikTok. The other day, I posted a dating while fat video, right? And I came across this guy's video and I thought this guy is one of the most disingenuous people I've ever seen on the internet. One of the most disgusting panderers I've ever seen. Like there are, there are a group of men on the internet that like to appeal to just women by shitting on men consistently and or like putting down somebody else while lifting everybody else up. And don't get me wrong, it's okay if that's like your stream of content, but it almost kind of seems like everything he says is, in, is is just all disingenuous. He has many, many videos on his TikTok channel that all basically say, say, say the same thing. I'm not even joking either. He's probably made the same video like eight or nine different times on each different things. I've seen the one where he said he was talking about women's periods and how women are just built different and they're stronger than men because they have to deal with period cramps, which is... I mean, I guess, but he made the video like nine times, you know, sitting there going like, that's right, guys, women that have periods, they're, they're really the one, they're, they're really the best in the world. And to top it off, men can't have that. So men are actually ass or whatever. Like that's like, that's his thing or saying that women are candles because they can burn down your house. Like there's that. But now he seems like he's on the plus size rant. Um, but anyway, we're going to go over this guy's videos today because I saw it and I thought it was the cringiest shit ever. I really despise disingenuous people. I really despise people that have no backbones at all that want to pander to a particular group of people or whatever. You just, why are you being a pussy? Why are you being a bitch? Like, I get it. You think that these women actually like you, right? But you're not actually a real person. You're an illusion. You're a mask. You're a facade. You're not an actual real human being. You have no genuine personality. You're just somebody here to pander somebody that's going to try to make everybody else think that you're so much greater than you actually are and it pisses me off so we're gonna watch it today me and you together i right, blown away that is yeah the by the way that's really cringy if you had got a big belly if you got a big belly i say then make sure what's your ring size which i've heard them say this like million times it's like what's your ring size type thing i've heard this the same thing if you go if you look through his uh, his entire TikTok page, you insert by most popular, the first like 10 or 15 videos will literally just be that. Him just sitting there going like, yeah, what's your ring size? Because I want to marry you. And girls in the comments are like, oh my God, you're such a hot Irish man. Oh my God, you're so hot. Your eyes are so big. Your hair is so amazing. I mean, he's a height. But like one thing I really hate about like modern social media, girls can usually be, girls are usually the ones that thirst trap, which is cringe uh but when guys do it it becomes progressively more cringe especially the older they get so if you're like 19 and you're thirst trapping okay i can forgive it it's most definitely something a younger man would do but as you get older you slowly start to realize like does it really matter if you look good do other women really judge you on that stuff maybe but it's like it's really cringy for a guy to do that this guy's like 30 and he's <laughs> he's out here thirst trapping women and he thinks that, I mean, he gets the views. I'll give him that. He gets good views on his, he gets good reception. Um, but it's really sad, dude. Okay, I'm going to call you out. If you're a woman and you're watching this guy and you're getting like, I don't know, you're getting wetter than an African child during typhoon season because you're watching this Scottish man pander to you and tell you how great you are when in reality you probably smell like a, a I don't know, like a tree frog, then that's fine. That's fine, dude. But just know this guy isn't a real, this isn't a real person, okay? He doesn't act like this in real life. But anyway. Let's hear what he has to say. Sweatpants. Well, for me, specifically, the All milk made the dress, which I just found out about, is the equivalent of grey sweatpants for a girl. I'm like, blown away. That is the dress. This is the one. You are the queen, and I am in love. Oh, God, I'm fucking weak for you. I'm a strong... Cringe. Really cringe, dude. That entire segment was just... Mm, pinnacle! Pinnacle cringe! Anyway. Believe that if a girl is cooking for me then I better make sure that I am a good eater. And by that, I mean eating her at night. Tell me I'm lying, ladies. <laughs> the fuck is that, bro? Okay, you, you eat vagina, bro. Does anybody... Like, what even is that? Like, if a girl cooks for me, I have to eat her vagina. Okay, bro, that's awesome, man. I mean, it, 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 it's nothing really to brag about, right? Oh, yeah, guys, I eat vagina sometimes. And guess what? I do it because I'm reciprocating because a girl cooked for me. Whatever, bro. Whatever, man. And, like, what is this, like, 
What is that, bro? What is that? What is that? Huh? What is that lucky charm shit you got going on there, dude? What even is that? Okay? It's fine. By the way, I have no problem with a man eating out a woman. I have no problem with anybody eating out anybody in general. Uh, I did have a friend one time that told me that he refused to eat out his girlfriend because he said that her clitoris was too big. And he said it was like sucking on a thumb. He said it was like hovering over her vagina. So if it was like that, he said he would have to like... He was doing one of those and he said it was massive. And he just refused to do it after like the third time. Which is really sad, by the way. Can you imagine being the girl in that situation where you're just thinking like... What's wrong with me? And he goes, it's just too big. It feels like I might be gay when I eat you out, right? That's what, that's what he told me. Um, it didn't work, by the way. The relationship failed because of that. But anyway, cringe. Ladies, is it actually true that you find a guy more attractive if he's psychologically mature, he has emotional intelligence, he's like a good leader, he provides and can provide, and also is a little bit, you know, sensitive to certain things? Or am I just tripping? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? That's like somebody going, so wait, do you as a human being want lots of money, lots of wealth, be amazingly attractive, have amazing charismatic traits, or am I just weird? Um, yeah, bro, what are you talking about? Can you imagine talking to a woman that's like, um, actually, no, I want a broke, bum, five foot two, non-emotional breck of a man that lives on the street. That's what I, I want a guy addicted to fentanyl. Okay? I want a guy with no teeth, no hair, a guy that's like perpetually on the street crawling around because the fentanyl addiction is so vast that his legs are literally gone. That's the kind of guy that I want. What are you fucking talking about right now? What kind of even question is this, bro? That's like somebody saying, do you want a million dollars or no? Like, do you, do you just don't want that? What are you talking about, dude? Yes, every... And if there's any girl in the comment section that's that's even going, oh my god, he like knows us. How does he know that? What are you talking about? How do you know what? That, that you want a decent man? A guy that's doing decent things with his life? I, who would have known? Who would have known that anybody wanted a decent human being in general? And this guy, you know, I, I hate this shit because he thinks, like, he's not saying anything special here. Everybody knows this shit, but he, he says it and then people, it pisses me off because there are people in the comments section like, oh my God, I can't believe he knows. What do you mean you can't believe he does it? What, what information is this that's like far-fetched or crazy, dude? What, what, what about it? It's crazy. Is it just because he's mildly attractive? I guess. Attractive if he's psychologically mature, he has emotional intelligence, He's like psychologically mature also sounds pretty cringe. A good leader, he provides and can provide and also is a little bit, you know, sensitive to certain things. Or am I just tripping? I feel like guys go around saying that girls are gold diggers and all that. But this is the gold that they want. That is gold. And I uh, don't think there is actually anything wrong with that. I think nobody ever said there was anything wrong with that. I do, what do you even... Who the fuck said an emotionally mature man, a dude that's a provider, a dude that's a leader, a dude that's going to actually take responsibility is like, I don't know who is saying that. Like, nobody. Nobody is saying that. Why do you think that's wrong in any way? Who is saying that's wrong? Do you know anybody that said that's wrong at all? Are you just saying that somebody said that so that you can make this video and come up with an excuse to make the video? Nobody ever in the entire spectrum of humanity has ever said all those things. An emotionally capable man that actually has his shit together is wrong? Who? Who said that? No one, bro. What is the point of you making this video? What are you doing right now, bro? This is, this is really cringe. I don't know how this guy survived. The, the 2020 era of TikTok. If you guys don't remember, the 2020 era, when like there was the Indian Joker faces that were going like this. And they were like, da, da, de, da, 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 da. and it was the Indian people on TikTok doing the Indian Joker faces or whatever. Um, it's since have been, it, India has since banned TikTok for that for reason. I'm, I'm guessing it was just so much cringe. But there was a whole bunch of thirst TikToks where guys were like coming in frame. I like them good girls make bad guys or whatever, right? The like people that were just really cringe. I thought they were sexy for some reason. For some, I don't know how this guy managed to survive that era because I post like I would say 2021 that stuff pretty much evaporated there's a few people holdovers but it seems like this guy is thriving in that era from 2020 to 2021 somehow he managed to survive and now he's just out here pandering to women it's gross it's gross bro it's really gross please let me know down below if I'm wrong that is gold and I uh, don't think there is actually anything wrong with that I think that every guy should strive to be here and have these things no shit bro no fucking shit no, no way. Really? You think so? You think a guy should be, have his shit together, should be emotionally mature for his woman? 
Wow, um, that's amazing, bro. I'm so glad. This is, you know what, bro? I would have never, I couldn't have, thinking about it now, I would have never been able to achieve any of those things without your inspiration. Thank you, bro. Honestly, no, you're totally right, bro. What was I thinking, man? I, uh, I was just thinking that I was just going to be like a brick, like an emotional brick, just sitting on the couch after I come home and just put on the TV and then like, I don't know, beat my fucking wife because I'm an emotional wreck. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Yes, everybody thinks that, dude. What do you, what, what? I actually see anything wrong with that. I think that every guy should strive to be and have these things and these qualities are good. If you're not psychologically mature, I think you should stay away from women. <laughs> if you don't like women. Bro, you're literally a facade. You're literally a mask, bro. There's nothing genuine about you at all. You should stay away from women, matter of fact. You should probably stay away from a lot of people. Can we zip this up? What is this shirt right here? Why don't we zip it up? What are you even trying to show off right now, bro? I don't see anything down there. There are no pectoral muscles. There's nothing, bro. Where are the contractions, man? Why every time I see you, do you look like you're on the verge of sweating? And why does it always look like you have all, you always have it unzipped? Why? What are you trying to emulate? Like Tony Montana from the 80s? <laughs> Whatever stay away from women true because a lot of guys are dating girls these days and you, you, like it just it's so gross too because i know that there i looked in the comment section there are women out there like oh my god he actually cares for women i can't believe it all the men out here nowadays are so trash <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about okay sometimes i watch these gold digger pranks on youtube right and i think this is this is obviously fake right like this guy has literally 90 videos doing the same thing uh to all these different women they're meeting them up at like the dockyards in their city or some shit like so random these women are wearing like short the shortest shorts ever i can literally smell their vaginas through my monitor and every time i think this is fake like this is obviously fake right and then i look in the comments section like oh he got her good damn bitches be trifling dude too many gold diggers and i'm like what the fuck are you guys talking you guys actually think this is real like wait am i just like wrong here but like aren't these all aren't these all fake they are they're all fake every single one of them I don't know if people are just like mentally disabled in some particular type of way, but this guy is a liar. This guy is not a real person. So when, when people watch his videos, is it the illusion that you are falling in love with? Is it the illusion of, of, of a guy that's like, cause you know, he's not like this in real life, right? There's nothing about this man that's real. So I, I see the people like in the women and the, and the people in the comments section like, oh my God, he actually cares about women. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's just telling you what you want to hear. He's like a car salesman. Yeah. He'll, he'll convince you to buy anything at this point. He's just, he's just a guy to, to, that looks good. I'll admit it. He looks good. Sure. In the face, he looks good. Um, a little bit weird, but it's okay. But it's cringy, it's inauthentic, and it's he's just here to he's just here to make you feel better about yourself. They don't even like women. And girls can feed off that. Girls actually feel because girls have great intuition, more so than men, I feel. They have an intuition, they see truth, they see a true colours on a man, and they see when he genuinely just doesn't like women. Bro, gay dudes? What are you talking about right now, man? What are you even saying right now? Nothing you just said makes any sense at all. Girls have an intuition to, to know whether or not they're talking to a gay man. Or, I mean, I know what she's saying. I know what he's saying, dude. Like, girls have a, a good idea to understand if a guy is genuine or not genuine or, like, I guess a misogynistic. Like, do they have the intuition to judge whether or not you're a real person, bro? Because the, the amount of women that I see in your comment section, they don't. All right, not all women, though. I mean, it's just... And that's why the most handsome man in the world can genuinely fumble every time because girls will say nope, nope, nope. And guys will be like, this guy's six foot five and has like all the qualities and everything. And he'll still get rejected because girls can smell it from a mile off. Ladies, tell me I'm lying. <sighs> he said nothing. All of this was literal hogwash. He said nothing at all. But you know what, dude? Go ahead. Do your... Go ahead, do it, Projected bro. because girls can Signature smell right here. it from a male off. Ladies, a tell me I'm lying. <laughs> if you are a girl who wears really tight dresses, but you have that little pooch that sticks. Can you button your shirt, bro? Why is your shirt consistently always unbuttoned? Always. It's always unbuttoned, bro. Why is it always unbuttoned? Do you think it's hot or something? Please button up that top bro. Please button it up man. That's all I'm asking from you bro is button it just slightly and again Why do you always look sweaty? Who wears really tight dresses, but you have that little pooch that sticks out That is the sexiest thing ever pack your bags. We are getting married. It's not cute. It's not adorable It's not whatever it is hot it Most women have that you're talking about the little pouch that women have that that protrudes out the uterus 
I guess, bro. Uh, yeah, got girls, pack your bags. It doesn't matter what you want. He's getting married to you guys because guess what? If you have a uh, an egg sack of any kind, oh, oh, I'm. He actually might be attracted to me because I was actually walking back from the store today and I bought a carton of eggs and I was just holding it close to me and he walked up to me and he said, "Oh my god!" I can't do this Scottish accent, but he was very turned on by the fact that I had an egg sack, a sack of eggs in a bag, and he was like, "Damn, that's hot. That's attractive. Let's get married." Right now. Anyway. It is sexy. It is amazing. And also, some of them even look like they're smiling at me. So it's like I'm, I'm, I'm even more... The gut is smiling at you? What? What are you talking about, man? This guy... I'm sorry, bro. He just, he just really fucking pisses me off, dude. This guy is... He's just... I, I Look... I really prefer when people are genuine, and this guy is very obviously not genuine, and I hate it when people are just bitches or pussies or they don't stand on what they actually believe in, dude, and I understand what he's doing. I understand that he's grifting right now to get his audience, to get the clout, to get the money, whatever, bro, okay? That's fine, right? I mean, it's not exactly something good. It's not, you know, whatever. A lot of people do a lot worse, right? But... I hate it, dude, because I can smell this shit out from a mile out, dude. This guy is one of the most ingenuine people that I've seen on all of the internet in a very, very long time. I don't think he believes anything that he's saying. I think he's actually just saying shit just to get the attention. And that's really sad about social media, dude. A lot of people are just r r literal talking pieces to whatever whatever thing they think is special at that particular time. And it's gross, dude. I would just prefer if people would just stop being pussies and just represent their actual beliefs, man. Like, I get it. You'll probably lose audience. But then again... You're a nope. You're literally like, would it, would it be better to have people love you for what you're act for a lie than hate you for what you actually are? I don't know. Like, I'll let you guys think down below. I would rather somebody hate me. And, and also, some of them even look like they're smiling at me. So it's like I'm, I'm, I'm even more flattered. And also the little crease. You know the little crease that you see here, and it's like a little smiley thing going on. Folds, gut folds, uh, I die, die folds, bro. What are you talking about, man? I'm absolutely obsessed with that. Uh, so, ladies, keep doing what you're doing. You keep doing what? What I'm doing? Like existing? Yeah. Keep, keep having your uterus. Yeah. Oh yeah. Keep having that. That's really good. I re keep having that. That's really good. Good job, ladies, for having a uterus that you, you know, you were born with and stuff. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. Uh, so, ladies, keep doing what you're doing. You are driving me crazy. Yeah, do it for him. It's not for you, okay? I know you guys thought that that egg sack was for the, facilita for the facilitation of a child, potentially. No. No. Stop. What the hell are you talking about? It's for him. This is all for him. Anyway, um, this video right here was the one we reacted to the other day on the dating video. I thought it'd be good to just have it in the video just to just to see the deal a little bit. I read something really sad today and it was a girl who was plus size, a curvy girl, and she says that she's always making excuses. I also think that the word plus size has just been extended too far nowadays, dude. What is what does plus size mean? What does curvy mean? What does uh, voluptuous mean? What does BBW mean? I don't fucking know, dude. It's all ambiguous at this point, but go on uh, sexy Irish man or Scotland man before going on a, on a date with a guy because it, it, like okay i gotta call it out i don't think this guy is capable i don't think he is capable of zippering his jackets in any way by the way also walked right by the coat hanger right by it dude walked into his house turned on the flash directly on his face okay had the coat on and didn't hang it up wow 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 good job didn't so you went outside with a coat but unzipped the top part of Doing well, bro. Doing well. Says that she's always making excuses before going on a, on a date with a guy because she's always worried that the guy's not going to like her for who she really like looks like in person and because she's maybe a bit thicker than she looks in her photos. And I felt so sad because, you know what? Honestly, I look at someone's photos and I'm like, yeah, wow, I'm attracted. I look at the eyes. I look at the smile. And... The fashion and the, what, how they dress and present themselves. But never do I expect them to look like that. You're such a pussy, bro. You're, you're such a pussy, bro. Because the implication of this is basically like I'm better than every guy because I'm not looking at what they look like. I'm not looking at how they represent themselves. I'm not, I'm not judging women on how they look on their profile pictures, even though that's supposed to be a correlation on how they look in real life. IRL, right? That's the implication is that he thinks he's better than all the other men because he's not doing that. But he's not. He's not better than anybody. This guy is just like me. He's just like all. 
you're, you're just a guy, bro. It's okay to, to judge women on what they look like. Everybody does it. There's a reason why dating apps even exist. You literally see profile pictures and you swipe right or you swipe left. That's what dating apps are. I know you're thinking like you're cooler than everybody else here because, oh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at their smile. I'm looking at their eyes. No, you're looking at the stomach. No, you're looking at the dry hair. No, you're looking at the elbow grease that's on their earlobes. You're looking at the athlete's foot on the side of their leg. That's what it is. Okay. It's all right, bro. We're all superficial, man. We all have things that we want and we don't want based off of how they look. It's okay. It's honestly fine, dude. Don't sit there and try to shit on other men for thinking that we're like, oh, because I'm looking at a woman for what, how she, her, how her body is shaped. Everybody does that, dude. And guess what else? Women do it too. Women are looking at profile pictures and going, ooh, he looks like Squidward and swiping left. And that's okay. That's all right. Because guess what? Preference exists. And just because you don't find a guy attractive or a woman attractive, that doesn't mean you're a shit person, okay? And I fucking hate this inauthentic piece of shit. It's so terrible. Whatever, bro. Whatever, man. And I don't expect somebody to look exactly how I look in person. Why not, okay? Like, maybe to one degree or another, like, maybe you have different facial hair, maybe your hair is slightly longer, maybe you're wearing different clothes, but you should be a representation of what you are it's like that on everything in life, okay? Like, like I said in the video, like if it's if you're if you're going to a car dealership and the guy told you it was a Model S and you showed up, it was a 2008 Prius, would you not be upset that the car is not what it was what what it was represented? You're just gonna go, oh yeah, no, no, it's fine, exactly, no, it's even though this looks literally nothing like the car that you said it was, and literally nothing nothing alike at all. It doesn't have an engine. The car tires are literally all deflated. There's a couple Puerto Rican dudes underneath it still in the catalyst catalyst converter. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna accept it the way it is because I'm not a superficial guy. I am a good guy that doesn't judge women on their physical appearances. Okay, bro, even though you're literally telling women that they need to grow out their guts and you love that they have uteruses, okay, bro, cool, man. Go go, go hang up. Go, go like, wipe down your face with some, like, canola oil again and, and wipe down your hair with a little bit more of that fucking coconut, coconut grease and then hang up your coat, bro. Do I expect them to look like that? And I don't expect somebody to look exactly how I look in person as well. Social media... It's fake, you know? If I have went to meet someone, it's because I like the conversation. But you don't know what the conversation is going to be like until you meet that person. You can only deduce so much over that those first initial messages. Unless you guys are in the talking phase on that app for like literally three months. Most people are talking to somebody for maybe at a week at most, and then they meet up. That's what, that's what most of it is. So when you say like, I'm, I'm in it for the conversation... How do you know this woman's even good at having conversations at all? You're literally projecting so OD right now, bro. Stop being so fucking... You're just so sloppy, bro. You're so slimy, dude. I liked the vibes that I got through the phone. Do you yeah, the Wi-Fi signals, guys. You understand? Does anybody know what I mean? Like, you yeah. can actually pick up on a vibe through a phone. When you call, if you put your phone on... um, you, So, you know when you have your phone, right? They have, there's, like, ringtone settings. If you scroll all the way down... Right before you get to do not disturb, there's one more setting called vibrate. That's what he's talking about, guys. Yeah, that when he says the vibe of the phone, that's what he's talking about, dude. It's not just how somebody looks. I can actually tell if somebody's not right for me just by the messages that they, they send me. I like to get deep with someone. True, bro. True. I, I like to get deep. So, like, are you saying that most dudes don't? Are you saying, like, we're all one-dimensional fucks? One-dimensional fucks that don't, like... We just use women for their vaginal orifices, even though like a quarter of your videos are literally just talking about like periods and how great women's uteruses are and like how fatness is amazing, bro. Cool. Cool, bro. Yeah, no, you're totally not like us. Totally, bro. Totally. I like to have a good conversation. I don't like small talk. Like, fuck that. I don't know if anybody agrees, but I like want to talk about psychology, philosophy, and actually open up about things that are interesting to me, even though to me... They would be a wee bit boring. So I such a pick me, bro. This guy's such a fucking pick me, dude. This guy right here, man. Oh, he, he just, man, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth, dude. See, this is the equivalent of when you were in school and you know that one kid that everybody, everybody knew this one kid. When you would sit there and you would go, yeah, man, um, you know what, bro? You know, my dad, he, he does all this great stuff. And they go, oh, yeah, well, my dad's like, my dad's way cooler than that. He works for Activision, so he could ban you off Call of Duty right now. And guess what else? He's like a CIA agent. He's like really cool. He's really, like, it's like that. Always got to one-up you. Always got to say that he's better than you. Always got to make it seem like you're just, a, you're just a fucking nothing. This is that guy. This is that guy. This guy never grew up. And you know what, dude? I don't like him. I don't like him at all, dude. I think this guy's terrible. I always worry that people are- By the way, talking about a woman about psychology, bro, 
I don't think you've ever talked to a woman before, okay? I'm not saying that women can't talk about psychology, but can you imagine going out on a first date with somebody and they want to talk to you about psychology and philosophy on the first fucking date? What are you talking about, bro? I just ordered like a Cobb salad and you're over here talking about fucking psychology, bro. Even the waiter is looking at you like weird. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? You can't keep things light? Man, this woman's, this never, this man has never talked to a woman, bro. We're gonna get bored by my entrance. You're such, you're such a pick me, bro. You're literally a pick me. Actually open up about things that are interesting to me, even though to me, they would be a wee bit boring. So I always worry that people are gonna get bored by my interests. Like my hobbies include going to coffee shops and staring at people, um, reading about books, about psychology and how to better myself and watching gym motivational videos. <laughs> Bro, the implication of what he's saying is that he's boring because he does those things. And every single one of the things he listed is like good. Can you imagine somebody saying that? Like, oh, you know, like, you know, when you go to a job interview and they go, they ask you like, what's your worst trait? And you go, my worst trait is probably I'm a perfectionist. Like I just do things to the best of my ability and I will not stop until that thing is completed. And I think that it's held up to my expectations. Um, I can't not complete something like that. It's not, it's not, that's not actually your worst trait. You're basically just saying bad things, but they're not bad things at all. They're good things under the guise of you saying that they're bad. You're, that's dumb. You're stupid, bro. You're literally garbage of a human being, man. Stop being so inauthentic, dude. Please, please, bro, show a little bit of your actual personality or do you have none of that? Like, I'm quite a boring person, yeah. but you know yeah i'm a boring person i'm just like really romantic and i like taking women out on dates and i like working out and i like hanging out with myself and you know going to coffee shops and i like doing cool stuff and you know i'm just boring though i mean i hope no girls like want me or anything like that i mean how could you want me i'm like gross right it's not all about how we look true so stop worrying and looking inward all the time and stop making excuses if you see somebody you like them online you go and meet them they don't like you oh my goodness that's their loss have that fucking security within yourself that you are actually so much more than your size, okay? And also, we love your size. The thick thighs make good wives. The thick thighs have got my eyes. Oh, oh, shit. Gonna have to go to the burn unit after this fucking guy. Jesus, man, your cringe is through the roof, bro. You're gonna have to lower that cringe by at least like 200%, bro. Jeez, man. <laughs> a wise Scottish man once coined the phrase, get you a wee lassie who has them thunder thighs because they tell no lies. I am that wise Scottish man. So pack your bags. We're getting married. Thunder thighs. What's your ring size? <laughs> Ladies, it's actually true that sometimes you just want to be cuddled, held, and babied when you're in your feelings. The thing you didn't tell us is that you also want to be pinned down on the bed with both your hands pinned behind your back and told that you're a good girl. Tell me I'm lying! Oh, damn! Oh, shit, bro! You laying in bed with your shirt off while saying this too, bro? Oh! Dude, this is nasty, bro. Ooh, I kind of feel, I feel slimy right now, dude. Get off of me, bro. Ugh. What are you even doing right now? Do women respond positively to this? This is the most red flag shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. This guy is the definition of a pick me. This guy is literally insecure about his whole entire life right now. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, shit, bro. <laughs> Girls are like candles. They smell good, they're warm, they brighten up a room, and they can make you melt. But if you forget about them, they'll burn your fucking house down. <laughs> I can't do it with this guy, bro. I don't know why he, he's so cringy, bro. Why is your entire persona just a literal cringe? Oh, shit. And by the way, just want to point it out. That whole thing about the candle. I thought it was cool at first, but then I looked through his channel and I was just like seeing whatever with his content because I found out about that guy from that video and I was like, let me just see what this guy is all about because he seemed really cringy off that one video. Turns out his entire everything is cringy. But I was scrolling through his most popular video. That one candle comment 
has probably been repeated. I didn't go through his whole entire catalog. He's got like a thousand videos or something like that. But I probably went through like a good 200. I think I've heard that one candle thing probably 20 times. Not even joking. 20 times. Not even joking, bro. Um, I've heard period ones probably like another 20, 30 times. All the same shit, by the way. He just recites the same shit like every three months. And people respond to it more positively. It's like reposting the same video that's really popular so you can get more views on it. And then he's kind of like put the other video on unlisted so that way people don't realize that you're just re-uploading the same video like over and over and over again. That's what he's doing basically, except he forgets to take down the original video. So this guy is a fucking literal terrible guy. Like he's just so gross. This is this is uh, this is uncannily gross behavior, dude. I don't I don't like him. I don't like him at all. By the way, why are you wearing this fucking well, you know what? I'll give him some credit. This is the first time I've seen him actually with a shirt that's not a deep V or uh, uh, unbuttoned or unzipped. So I'll give him I'll give him credit on that. Don't know what the little baby in the in the corner is doing here, but regardless, dude, cringe to the max. <laughs> Women don't work as hard as men. Do you want to know why? Because they get it right first time. <laughs> just pandering, dude. It's just pandering, man. It, it, it all that's all it is just making you feel like better than you actually are or like it, it, it's not it's it's just terrible dude like consistently just shitting on men for no other reason than to lift up women it's fine dude if this is your content stream there was another guy that used to do this on i forgot his name but he was like a black guy here on youtube and he used to sit in his car and he would be like man you got to be better for these women women are queens women are goddesses and you gotta level up women are literally out here looking for the best men and they can't find nobody because men are garbage or whatever then he cheated on his wife yeah i forgot the name of that guy he was like a dating guru or something like that i forgot his name but that was what he did and there would be so many women in his comments actually like oh my god he knows exactly no he didn't he was just saying basic bitch shit to try to pander to women and get his name out there and i guess it worked but then like most of these guys are literal chips like most of these guys are literal hogwash they don't actually believe anything that they're saying they're just taking advantage of weak-minded people so you can just hear the same shit over and over again we're all cognitive listen human beings are not truth-seeking individuals right we all just want to hear what we already know echoed back to ourselves over and over and over again there's a reason why i watch the same star wars videos over and over again there's a reason why i watch videos on who's stronger vegeto or gogeta we all know it's vegeto but i'm watching these videos because i want to make sure that i know i'm right same way here i'm sure that there are plenty of people out there that are just watching this guy to hear him talk about how great women are while shitting on men and also it tops it off he's a dude himself so it's like there's more value there but he's a weak-minded individual this guy's literal like hogwash a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle they fucking don't <laughs> if you are a girl with thick thighs and an extremely loud laugh pack your bags because we're getting married <laughs> that's i mean that's his thing is uh pack your pack your bags we're going to get married that's his thing. That's his that's his signature. And then it's like, I don't know. I don't know where he picked that up from. I have no idea why he does it, but that's his thing. Here are some things that you plus size girls apparently can't do. You can't wear crop tops. You can't be healthy. You can't be athletic. You can't be sexy. Don't even think about wearing a bikini. Shorts are a no-no. What a load of bullshit. Plus size girls can be healthier, fitter, and more attractive than any other girl. Just because you're not a size four doesn't mean you're less sexy, less athletic, or less able than any other girl. So if some judgmental arsehole is telling you that you can't, Yes, you fucking can. That's it. That's it, dude. I'm not. Look, I'm sorry that I had to do this to you today, but I saw it. I knew you had to do it. You know, this is not even a percentage of his videos, in my, in, in, I think, in all opinions here. Uh, this guy literally has like a thousand or like a thousand five hundred videos, um, and this was maybe like five or six or seven of them, or maybe ten. I don't know. But not even one percent. Not even. Not even close either. And they're all cringe. Literally every single one of them. Every single one of his videos are just consistent cringe. Back to back to back to back. I mean, this guy is uncanny. I didn't know that, that dude still like this existed, bro. Um, but you know what? I hate inauthentic people. I hate people that don't actually portray themselves in a, in a, in a genuine way. And some people can get by for their whole lives doing this. And uh, it seems like this guy's been doing it for like the past three or four years. I don't know how I haven't come upon this dude's cringe. But uh, yeah, it's all cringe. It's all cringe. I'm happy you enjoyed it today, though. I'm happy you enjoyed this cringy video with this guy. But regardless, that's it, guys. That's the end of the video. You're welcome. Um, uh, if you like today's video, I don't know how, but if you like today's video, I appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, yeah, those, those things help me grow in the algorithm. 
if you watched the video in its entirety and or you left it and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in button because we all need to button up our shirts i don't know why this guy has an incapability of not buttoning his shit up or zipping it up i don't know why he does that but he does it consistently it doesn't matter you know what you're beautiful you're fantastic you're amazing in so many different ways i appreciate you tremendously <sighs> thank you for watching today's video by the way i'm glad you're making good decisions with your life really really great really really amazing but anyway guys um social medias will be linked down below in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys